Welcome to European Utility Week, where I'm joined today by Jojo Hubbard, the Chief Operating Officer for blockchain company Electron. Thanks very Jojo. much for having me. You're very welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, can we just start by asking if you could just tell us what are the benefits of blockchain technology to the energy sector? Yeah, so um, I think the over, I mean, there's a lot of different flavors of blockchain. There's a lot of different use cases. The overarching benefits for me are uh, transparent, uh, enabling transparent price signal markets. And I said markets very carefully here. It's not just going to be a market for you know all energy like we have today, but it's also not just going to be a market for local energy. There'll be grid services, there'll be local energy, there'll be clean energy, there'll be big energy. So the blockchain can also provide the coordinating layer for all those different value streams to move uh, uh, kind of on top of one another instead of against one another. So it's efficient, price signal, transparent, coordinated markets. Okay, and so with all those many benefits in mind, what's been the adoption of blockchain in, say, the last year or so? Is, has it been a fast take up? Is it still, are people still getting their head around it? I mean, so, I mean, this is energy and utilities we're talking about. So fast has different meanings in, in, the, in the kind of blockchain world versus the non-blockchain world. But I think it's probably useful to look at it in, in, in three layers of take up. There's layer one blockchain where we're just looking at the underlying, the kind of base protocol, the blockchain itself. I think there's been a lot of developments in that in the last year. Um, there's layer two on blockchain, which is the protocols, the kind of rule layer for how you bring assets into it. And, 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 and there's been a lot of, I mean, that's largely where we're focused. There's been a lot of infrastructure work going on there this year. We're in kind of four different projects, uh, two in the UK, two outside. Um, and you've seen a couple of announcements on, on, on that, but people are a bit quieter because you're kind of building the plumbing. And then the, the kind of third layer, which is kind of where all the fanfare was, you know, when people first thought of blockchain or the energy use cases, the kind of app layer is where it gets really cool, right? Where you start doing peer-to-peer -peer and stuff like that. That seems to have slowed down for now because everyone's kind of really looking at the use case. You've got all these utilities involved and everyone's gone, okay, well, look, we need the plumbing before we're going to build the city on top. Um, but I think we'll see a lot more of layer two through 2019 and a bit more of layer three coming in towards the end of the year, more like 2020. And so how do you see the digitalization, but more broadly, of energy panning out in the next year? So what's exciting about uh, digitization and energy now is it's a foregone conclusion. And I don't think that was necessarily true last year. I, I think there's a huge amount of work going on in there. Um, where I see it being next year is, is, is more like the collaborative work, the shared data standards, the shared access rules. Uh, there's a bunch of projects on my data and uh, uh, consumer owner of data and, 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 and then kind of third party brokerage. So I think actually the second uh, energy revolution, you know, if the first was clean energy, is, is, is actually these like shared data structures that anyone can build apps on top of. And I, I see that happening over the next three to five years, but it's going to completely change the energy market and supply a consumer relationship in the future. So we're putting down the plumbing, but it's going to be big. <laughs> Joe, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. That's all from European Utility Week.